all over the world and all over Canada to go there. My, my sister, uh, sister used to go out. Uh, she loved it. Uh, my father, when he was younger, when I think he was in the military, he went out there a bunch. But yeah. anyway, so, oh, thank you, thank you for calling back so quickly, Mark. If everyone called me this fast, my reporting would be done a Tuesday every every day, and I would have Wednesday to Thursday to just play Mario Kart. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is this is great. Um, so so I, I'm doing a story about YouTube uh, re-engineering its, its recommendation system yeah. specifically to, uh, to reduce traffic to a bunch of buckets that they've identified. One of them was Flat Earth videos, and so I kind of wondered, all right, uh, have, has anyone who has uh, noticed this, basically? Like, oh, God, yeah. Going up on your radar? And oh, yeah. To no, no, we, we saw it in its infancy. We saw it back in... In fact, I, 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 I can even tell you a story... Um, uh, that happened back in 2018, even before the congressional hearing, you know, the little things that they were doing where right. they were trying to solve the what they called the fake news, right, right. fake news problem. Um, in 2018, yeah, yeah, yeah. we I, and we will absolutely take responsibility for this. We were the ones that had the search results um, number removed from the from YouTube altogether. Which was stunning to me. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll, let me rattle it off to you really quick. So back when we started doing our thing back in the beginning of 2015, if you typed in flat Earth with no filters at all, um, it would show up at like it would say search results equals 50,000. You know, basic Internet 101 search results is is everywhere. And then those numbers just kept climbing and climbing and climbing because it was an interesting topic and kept climbing. And sure. there was yeah. there was only a few to where we were like 10 million, 15 million, um, you know, 18 million. And there was only a few targets in front of us that, that we were looking at. Uh, and one of them was the president at the time. Uh, president Trump was always like half a million ahead of us, always. And we couldn't, we couldn't, we, we couldn't seem to beat him. And so we, I predicted it's like, okay, but sometime in December of 2018, we'll, we'll cat, we'll get him. And it was in the summer. So it was even six months beforehand. Uh, and somebody called me up and said, oh yeah, we, 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 we just did it. And I said, really? I goes, he goes, yeah, he's at 20.8 million search results and that means that relevant search results you probably already know it's it's not number of videos necessarily it's just every time it's mentioned in other videos and descriptions and stuff like that so it's like this big aggregate right yeah it's, it's, it's a textually based thing it's, yeah it could be it, it could it, it, the indexing of stuff yeah it, it, so this was summer of 2018 summer of 20 about, yeah so. summer of 2018 um uh, and by the way, if you're taking notes, I my my computer auto my, uh, auto records everything, so I can send you the audio of this. Yeah, you... no, that, 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 yeah, thank you. If if I, if I get any audio problems, I'll, I'll let you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah no, no worries. So um, so we at that summer of 2018, we were at 20.9 million, and, and he was at 20.8. And I remember making a video specifically because of this. I was really excited. It's like, and I and I literally titled it, "Flat Earth Catches the President of the United States." And wow. then, you know, it was really exciting. And then two weeks later, different person calls me up and they say, scoreboard's gone. And I go, what do you mean? They stunted us? What, the filters screw up? What, are they run in some sort of algorithm against us? And they go, no, man, it's gone. I go, what are you talking about? He goes, search results. It wasn't said, it didn't, wasn't search results equals a different number. Or search results equals blank or search results equals zero. The line is gone and it never, ever, ever came back. So if you type in any topic into YouTube, there is no search results anymore. It's just it that line was f removed from it, so that was kind of a bad omen <laughs> for me. It's wow. like oh, it's like wow. it's like man, someone yeah. really didn't like yeah, yeah. And so then the congressional thing started happening at the end of like 2018, beginning of 2019, and. Then we started getting a little concerned because out of the, you know, the three topics they brought up, you know, the, the three things, you know, just three random examples we're going to bring up of things we're going to deal with when they were talking to the head of Google and YouTube. Uh, I think it was um, false flags, snake oil and flat earth of, of all things. You know, gotcha. those those gotcha. were the three things. It's like, wow, we made the top three. Awesome. And so slowly but surely, they started rolling out this, and it has been really, really gradual. In fact, I'm looking at it right now. And so one of the first things they did was they included, they were true to their word in this case. Um, and they, they said, it, it's, they said, we're going to, there's some topics you can't, you just can't talk about on YouTube anymore. One is, you know, false flags. If there's a shooting, you're not allowed to say it was a false flag. Um, and snake oil right. stuff, you're not allowed to talk about that. But they said with Flat Earth, we're going to recommend it less. So for the first three years, from 2015 to 2018, we were being recommended, you know, recommended for you on the right-hand side. We were recommended constantly. 
because the algorithms were true. You know, the algorithms are based on, in fact, there was a, uh, I wish I could find the article for you. I can't remember who wrote it. I know it wasn't Wired, though. There was um, a programmer that had left YouTube and they had asked him one of the questions, random questions was, why do things get recommended for you in YouTube? Out of right. all the topics, all the topics he could have brought up, what do you think he did? He said, well, if the average person that looks into flat earth watches 20 videos in a row, what do you think we're going to recommend? <laughs> you know, because they want to, you know, the, the whole job <laughs> of YouTube is they want you to binge watch. And they look at the trends and they say, well, people right. get into flat earth apparently go down this rabbit hole. And so we're just going to keep recommending it. And it becomes cyclical to where people started complaining. For saying, you know, they do a search for tractor maintenance and they get five flat earth videos. They search for potato salad recipe. They gotcha. just keep showing up. Gotcha, and so, gotcha, and so, so YouTube basically said after the congressional thing, they said, okay, we're just going to recommend them less. And that was the first thing they did. So you will never see flat earth videos recommended to you basically ever uh you know unless you're and looking when, 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 do, 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 do you have a do you, can you get a sense of when that i'm trying to oh the, oh, oh when that started that was immediately that was immediately after the the congressional thing so within within a month after the congressional hearing so the beginning of 2019 really was when, when beginning it, of 2019 is when it. yeah when they really started doing that and so that was the first stage which was okay we're going to recommend it less unless you look for flatter specifically we're not you know so mm. that that cut down the um the uh, literally cut down the monetization and hit results and subs and and all that by 60 percent like within a month literally everybody that i wow. was oh yeah all my friends immediately they were making you know, when you, if you, whatever you were making on a monthly basis, cut that by 60% immediately. Interesting. And, and, and does that represent 60% reduction in overall traffic or just traffic? Overall, traffic? Every, every aspect of it, number of su subs per month. Yeah. Uh, hang on one second. Girl, girlfriend is saying, what am I Yeah. Doing? One second. Uh, one moment. Oops. Go back. Okay, so the that was that was in the first month, and then the second thing. So sixty percent revenue decrease right over, across the board. Everything, all metrics, not just revenue, all metrics across the board. So no wow. th thumbs up, wow. thumbs down, and that was because well because it's not being recommended as much. And then the second thing they did was, which wasn't nearly as effective, which I'm looking at right now. They said, well, we're going to put wiki entries, official wiki entries underneath what um, whatever topic it is. So if you click on a, fl gotcha. a flat earth video immediately underneath, you're going to see the wiki entry for flat earth. Well, they, now initially they, gotcha. they put in stuff, they tried to compete. And I think that was just ticking people off. They put like Apollo, like the Apollo missions. <laughs> that was the first thing they recommended was, um, the, uh, was the, 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 the uh, clickable link underneath, which they said they were going to do during the, the congressional stuff. Right. And right, right. and now, like, for example, if you go into YouTube right now, if you just type in flat earth, not only does it show up when you click on the video, but it actually shows up under the to general topic. So like I'm typing in flat earth right now, no filters. And before the first above even the first video, which is at the very top mm -hmm. is a link to Wikipedia flat earth. So they've added that in within the last few months on top of it. Interesting. In addition to all those things, <clears throat> there are certain people they have, and unfortunately I am one of them, uh, I, I speak flattered in some ways, um, which I am never, rec yeah. I am never recommended <laughs> for anything. So like my videos, if I make a new video, uh, or, or even some of my bigger videos that are in there, um, if you type in flat earth, you'll, you'll see me. You know, you'll see, you know, stuff I've done, you know, for whatever, ABC or National Geographic or whatever, but you won't see any of my videos, even though some of my hit counts are higher than some of these things. They will only do established channels, meaning, um, uh, with exception. National Geographic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, the, like... the stuff. So if you get, if you're a certified channel on YouTube, once you hit 100,000 subs, you you get a little tick next to your name you know cbs wired magazine has their own little tick next to their name if you have a tick it automatically gives you an added metric boost 
to where you so if you go type in flat earth with no filters and you're scrolling down with the exception of the ones that, that like the top two which are brand new for ones three hours old and ones a week right. old everything else i'm looking cbs news from two years ago abc news uh a year ago tech insider two years ago uh abc a year and so on and so on jimmy kimmel live uh, on and on and on those all get any any verified channels automatically get a metric boost because they don't want gotcha. they don't want conspiracy channels to be uh, to be profiled to be premiered if if they can help it so if yeah. you're if they're doing everything they can, everything they can to kind of steer right. steer you away from pro flat earth stuff mm -hmm. if, if they can help it is, is there is, is there is, uh, is there any traffic from recommendations off here or is it, did it go to zero um, I get some, but it's usually uh, it's usually l references of references, people that'll that'll recommend my gotcha, links. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. But but yeah, okay. just just general yeah. first click stuff, almost impossible to get because. And again, it's a multi stage thing. Not that I blame them. Look, I'm not upset. It's like, look, you know, back in 2015, we were screaming just to get any media attention at all. And then, you know, <laughs> seriously, it was, it was right, right. like, yeah, like yeah, Forbes yeah. magazine mentioned yeah. us once in this little blurb at the end of 2015. And we're like, oh, wow, that's really, really great. And then we became so media spoiled that I remember like Jaron from Jaronism, who was in the documentary, uh, he, he was complaining. Right. He's going, he had Newsweek's picking on me. I was going, oh, poor thing. I go, do you realize <laughs> that, that, that you just don't know how media works? I go, if Newsweek is picking on right. you. It's, you have nothing to if that's the worst thing that's happening in your life yeah cry me a river yeah yeah so now at the at the, at the peak at, at, at the peak of the, of the recommendations how many were you get in a month like was it you know was it in the hundreds of thousands or millions or what how many, uh, how many, hard, how many, how many views would come before that? hard hard to say for well for me it was a little different i mean hard it was say, it was yeah. it was definitely hundreds of thousands i don't know if it was millions per month because I, I what am i up to 17 18 million I think for for my channel, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but that's yeah. but that's just hits. The what what got it for me yeah. was the mirrors. But I lucked out because I made my stuff um, creative. I did what most YouTubers do not do, which is I made my stuff Creative Commons license. I said I go you you like it, go run with it. I don't care. I get you know I you that's can... interesting. I did I didn't know you did that. Oh wow. yeah 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 yeah. So, well, so, because so, so, so there's so there's people that have copies of it and they put it on their channels and whatnot. Oh yeah yeah yeah. That's how that's how my uh, my stuff got so widespread so quickly was because there were people that put made mirrors of my work and then just made up brand new titles. Um, like, gotcha, um, gotcha, like gotcha. I, my original thing was called flat earth clues, but other people were calling it like they're hiding God with the greatest lie ever. They're hiding God with the, the biggest lie ever. And I didn't even know until people, people started sending me emails saying, cause my email traffic was, was, was way higher than I thought it would be. And people are saying, Oh, really enjoyed your movie. And I go, it was only like 15 minutes long. I don't know why I would call it a movie, but whatever. And so finally, well, cause, cause when you're a brand new YouTube channel, you can't make long videos. You have to make like under 15 minutes for the right. first couple months. And then, so, so finally right. I, I, I had to ask somebody, I go, I go, I go say, what movie are you talking about exactly? And they sent me a link and it was a full, right. all the clues lumped up together. It was two and a half hours or roughly two hours and change. And I said, I said, wow. And I didn't know what I did, who this guy was. And there were a bunch of people that had done this. And so, um, and of course they made the money off of it. I mean, some of those guys made thousands of dollars off of off of my work right. i was like well, hey great good for you i guess i mean i without them yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. With, i mean i i couldn't complain because without them you know you, you never know what, exactly what's going to resonate with the public so yeah 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 anyway sorry go on how, how, how often how often what, what's what's been your general schedule i mean you you put it a like like an awful lot of videos do you do you keep to a regular schedule well uh, i i do i used to um until 2019 and that's when things started getting well i mean 2018 started getting pretty busy uh because i was i was flying out yeah. to different meetups and then we were doing conferences but then 2019 got nuts i mean i used to make like a q a video every week and i still do um a podcast every tuesday um, and I'll do interviews whenever I get the chance. But like last year, yeah. I, I went to conferences in seven different countries um, and did a com right. commercial in Australia and, and all this other weird little, these little things to where 
but yeah, the, the great thing about the internet, which I love, is everything sticks. So there's so much, I mean, I've got yeah. so much content on my channel right now that if you're a first time person, I mean, I have what, 1600 videos? So you could spend a lot of time just hanging around there if you wanted to. And it's, it's, totally. it's very, totally. so, yeah. but yeah, I mean, I use. What, what, what's, what's, your, what's, your, what's your top watch video? Uh, what, what's your. Oh, oh, probably, probably, stories? probably the Flat Earth Clues in, in mass. So yeah, yeah. Um, the, just the original ones from, yeah. from 2015. I mean, there are other ones that, that, that do okay. Uh, what I ended up kind of becoming um, along with like the freshman recruiter for, for flat earth was I started kind of reporting on any, I, I kept my, my ear to the ground, anyone that ever talked about flat earth. So like when BOB came out and then Neil, Neil deGrasse Tyson came out against us and then mad Mike or, uh, Kyrie, right. or, Ky sorry, go ahead. Yeah. I think I remember, I remember seeing one, some, maybe a year or two ago with PewDiePie, I believe. Was one. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he hates us. Um, <laughs> and, and but <laughs> but I didn't, well, I, I'm not a huge fan of PewDiePie just because um, I, yeah. he, he figured out, n not because he's a troll or anything, I hate, um, who is it? Um, the, yes. the, the, Paul, the, the Paul brothers, way worse than, than PewDiePie. But oh God, yes. you know, they're, they're horrible. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. And, and I get it. It's like, look, Johnny Knoxville and Jackass, they, they left the game just before YouTube took off, which is unfortunate. And someone had to fill that void. But, oh, this is so t I'm sorry. In the, the whole <laughs> internet pranking thing is so juvenile. I mean, come on, Johnny Knoxville and those guys did it way better with Jackass than, than those guys ever did. And I wasn't even a huge fan of Jackass. Um, but yeah, but yeah. Pew, but yeah. PewDiePie worked the system. That was, that was the 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 brilliance of of the PewDiePie model, where he realized that you can you know you like anything, you can go out and buy Bitcoin, but you can also buy hits and likes and subs and and just about anything using yeah. you know overseas. And what thing is, YouTube pays you per you know for your hits. So you're buying hits, That's and right. then YouTube's giving you money back for some of those hits. So you're getting this huge discount. And then, then you're getting legitimate hits on top of it. And anyone under the age of 30 literally gives instant credibility to anybody with a whole bunch of subs and or hits. I mean, huge amounts yeah, of credibility right. to where I have talked to guys under the, you know, under 25 that that they will give more credibility to PewDiePie than they will a journalist that's been in the game 15, 20 years, just because they're sure, literally, sure, it's, yeah. it's an even playing field because they're on the same device. It's like, it's, mm -hmm, that's right, that's right. and it's yeah. staggering to me. And so, yeah. So yeah, when PewDiePie put, put me on a thumbnail, it was like, oh God. And it was funny because he used, um, uh, the thumbnail wasn't even, you know, he, he, we never talked. He, um, he just stole it from, a, yeah, a, yeah. A, from a, a vice interview that I had done in, yeah. um, I think Raleigh during our first conference. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's fascinating. So, 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 what, what, what keeps you busy these days? What's, what's your, what's your, what's your kind of daily, weekly schedule like, basically? Uh, well, nowadays, unfortunately, uh, with the uh, just about everybody in the flat Earth community kind of splits their time between uh, flat Earth and, of course, the whole virus thing because that's all anyone's ever talking about. I mean, the news twenty four seven. Yeah, that's yeah. that's that's all they're doing. Yeah. We're we're still focusing on it, no question, and you know we still we still do it, but we can't. Like, for example, we can't do, we, we used to have hundreds of regional meetups and I, and I would promote them, you know, That's meet true. up in every city, but you can't right. do a meetup if you can't go anywhere to have a meetup. Yeah. Uh, you, I mean, you have to find, most yeah. of them were done in bars and at restaurants and now you can't sit down in bars and restaurants. Um, our big conference this year was, um, well, still somewhat slated for Vegas, but Vegas is shut down. So we're, oh we're, what are we supposed to do? Um, so in me, basically what I'm doing is just kind of scanning the news, seeing who's talking about it. Uh, you know, just, yeah. it's a lower key version, but uh, the virus is so much l of a louder volume than we are at this point that, yeah, and, yeah. and I joked, I actually joked about that a couple of years ago. I go, the only way the, the, the powers that be are going to, um, uh, keep us, you know, they're, they're try to keep us in check is if they come up with a story that's bigger than us. I was like, well, here we are. 
you know the the whole world yeah, whole yeah. world's closed down which is it's, yeah there, there, there is no there is no story bigger than this it's true no I mean, but it, it, I, I, a lot of stories stories that i was working on got derailed because i was supposed to get in a plane and fly somewhere and no one's getting on any planes and flying anywhere so. oh yeah yeah i was uh, supposed yeah. to i was supposed to do a um a mcdonald's commercial in london and we were, you know, we were going to schedule that whole thing, and and you know, the, we'd missed the the first window just just at the um, the end of January, right. and it's like we're we're not even talking about it now. I mean, you can imagine, like, um, think think about every every person that's in media, uh, you know, no no rock concerts, yeah. no games, <laughs> no no anything. Yep. You, you can't even yep. you can't even shoot movies yeah. right now. So. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I've I've sort of wondered actually about what's going to happen to Hollywood's. Uh... Uh, Hollywood's uh, schedule, right? I mean, I mean, I mean can, it's, it's, we're talking about you know insane millions of dollars. Oh, I know. And, I'm you know, I'm not sure either because I mean we're on a face it we're in uncharted territory. I mean, there's there's huge yeah. productions that cannot move forward because of and the, whoever again. Well, let, let, let me get into a side thing real quick, which is. Everybody in the conspiracy world, of course, is running on absolute overdrive because everyone's home. People that were part-time conspiracy people, oh, there's so many more conspiracy people now. Um, and everybody yeah. in the Flyers community, because the, the Flyers community is about the most open-minded group there is, is focused mostly on the virus and everyone's saying the same thing. It's like, look, what's the hype about? You know, there's, I'm sorry, it's it's too overblown. There's, In fact, I have something I've been talking about for the last few weeks. I'm going, there's something else coming. I, in fact, I call it the event because there's no way, there's no reason why you would ever send ever the entire world home, eighty percent of the working population of the world home, unless you had something to follow this up with. And so that's what it, we're we're kind of right now. Our, our our the flat Earth community's secondary hobby is analyzing the the conspiracy of the day, which is right now the the virus. What what do you think? I mean, there's definitely been. Uh, I've seen on YouTube there was a couple of. Um, uh, although I, I, it's hard to say how much these got around because I don't know whether they got caught in the existing filters uh, that, they, that they put in for recommendations. But, um, you know, videos about uh, whether or not it was engineered and whatnot. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, I, 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 I don't I don't even think it's necessarily engineered. I just think it's a, a weak form of yeah. flu. I mean, you're old enough to remember. I mean, just about every every pandemic model, uh, every contagion model, including the, the gold standard movie Contagion, this it doesn't work this slow and it doesn't um it yeah. it, it, it would be way yeah. more effective i'm sorry the spanish flu was um way more uh the mortality weight was way way higher so it's it's kind of what yeah. what I, the the analogy i've tried to come up with recently is um the i call it the no zombie scenario which is and he, he's, people are you know you're wondering why there's protests and people you know violating orders and and like not closing things and and uh, going to parks and, and doing all this stuff and that's because they're not scared and the reason they're they're not scared is because the no zombie thing it's like if imagine if the news all of a sudden started running a story tomorrow saying there's zombies it's like it's like oh there's zombies they're here yeah, they're there oh it's a horrible thing it's really really scary be afraid of zombies you know that's that's the story every day be afraid of zombies. Well, the problem is, unless you start seeing zombies, you're not going right. to, you can only run that story for so long before people are going to be like, yeah, Fred, did you see any zombies? Nope. Ted? Nope. Stop. You know, you start asking your friends and if you, nobody says they've seen a zombie, aka dead people. Right. The people are like, well, right. uh, you know what? Let's <laughs> screw it. Apparently zombies aren't our problem right now. And that's kind right, of what, right, right. what everyone's right. run into. So do they think it's manufactured? Eh, maybe, but mostly, more than anything, they think it's just a um, a big media overhype, and you wouldn't do gotcha, gotcha, you, gotcha. You yeah. wouldn't do that, I, and of course, you know, there's the sinister secondary stories. It's like you know, oh, they're gonna do the Christian community thing. Is gonna be end up with the number of the beast, you know, forced vaccines or right, right, or, right. Or, yeah. or or the Trump draining the swamp scenario, which is hilarious. It's like you don't if. If Trump is going to vanquish his enemies, you don't need to shut down India to do that. Um, not you know, not to mention 160 <laughs> other countries. Um, there's been, I, in fact, I gave somebody you know my my top you know the top five you know scenarios that are out there. I'm going none of them fit are big enough for me. For me, it feels like there's something right something bigger something yeah. bigger. So it's do like you have any intuition, do you have any intuition of what the event might be? Ah, uh, yeah. The one I've been kind of focusing on lately, just because it, it it's it, 
if it's not some celestial event, some project blue beam or some tectonic event, it's got to be everywhere. That's just it. I, I, I even I have a hard time breaking out of the America mold because people just keep thinking the only things happen in America, nowhere else. Um, right. You want to look into right. something, right. look into something called um, Operation Gotham Shield. That's a really interesting uh, thing. Can you, uh, can you spell that for me? A Gotham, uh, like you know, Batman, yeah. Gotham, Gotham City, Geo, Geo. Oh, oh Gotham. I, I, sorry, it, I, it sounded like I thought you were saying Gotham. Oh no, 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 uh, Gotham. So Gotham, Gotham, Gotham Shield. Gotham. It initially was supposed to be a nuclear disaster drill that was in 2017, huh. but it never happened. And there's been, and there's been weird, I've seen the videos myself of soldiers in New York City that have been carrying badges around their necks that say Gotham Shield 2020. And they're not photoshopped right. the images, they're actual videos. I'm just going, that's kind of odd because first off, why would you be running drills at all during what's happening now? I think everything would be suspended. Um, so, you know, could it be a man-made thing? You know, could you simulate a giant attack, you know, a, a massive terrorist attack that, that hits a whole bunch of countries simultaneously? Yeah, sure. It seems a little pedestrian to me because I'm a huge sci-fi guy. Um, I would like to think it would, right. I, I'd like to think it would be something bigger for me. I, I'm going to go, I'm going to go something, um, celestial, some sort of, um, uh, some sort of meteor thing or comet or, uh, who knows? I don't necessarily right. want to say UFO invasion. Cause well, that sounds nuts, but then again, the whole world's shut down. So how nuts does it sound? Uh, compared to, right, right. I mean, if you would have, right. if you would have asked anybody back in January, oh yeah, by the way, we're going to shut down everything absolutely everything people would be laugh they'd laugh you out of the room i was like oh yeah here we are no yeah. no one's got haircuts and <laughs> we're just sitting in our houses yeah, yeah. doing nothing in our houses. so yeah. that's that's exactly. that's what, that's what exactly. i kind of would like to think the event would be um but it just feels like there's there's i'm waiting in fact the the literally the title of my last show i did was called um waiting for the nuclear shoe to drop because I was like, look, right. you're, you've got everyone's attention. There's, they have nowhere to go, nothing to do. They watch the news all day if they can stand it. Uh, so, what? Okay, do it. <laughs> Pull the switch. Yeah. Hit, hit the shiny red button. Whatever, whatever you got. You know, what, I don't know what you're waiting for necessarily. So, but the, um, but the operation. Uh, by the way, the the Gotham Shield thing um, was uh, slated for what day is today? Oh, Sunday. So there you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. As I, as, I, I, I will check that out. So, the, um, so, so do, do, you, do you have a day job that you put and put on hold during this? Or uh, no, I was I was one of the few uh, flat Earth people that actually this is what I was doing twenty four seven. That's this is wow, a, great. It, it, did, is, is it, are you still monetizing that off YouTube to make money? Um, it's, it's not great. Let's put it that way. But it's, um, but I, I have a couple other things that I can supplement it with. Um, my podcast, uh, the books that I wrote. In fact, I even, I even put out a, um, <laughs> a disaster book. My publisher called me up. She goes, she goes, didn't you write a survival manual? And I go, yeah, I did. I go, I never published it. She goes, she goes we're publishing it now. <laughs> so, um, in fact, it, right. it just it just, sure. it just came out last week called um, Empty Shelves, and uh, it's on oh yeah, it's on Amazon. And so, and and I wrote it. It was interesting. I wrote it after Katrina, because I was really ticked off that that all the people that that were you know the whole city had to evacuate from Katrina, and even when they came back, most right. most of those people still didn't do anything. They didn't buy, put any water or food or batteries or flashlights, anything aside. They just like, oh, well, it'll never happen again. It's like, you just relocated. The whole city was emptied out. What is it going to take, you know, for you to for you to actually prep, you know, a little bit? I'm not saying you have to go out and buy camo gear and dig a bunker. For God's sakes. Just, anyway, I, I wrote it out of just irritation. and uh, But it's not bad. I, I try to keep a, a sense of humor about it and even... Uh, even did a chapter on um, cannibalism, just just to keep it light. Ah, I'll <laughs> just kind of you know <laughs> joking around, you know, just try no, not not saying okay, go out and eat people. I'm um, in fact, I, I even dissuaded. I'm going, look, you really shouldn't eat people, and here's why. So the uh, I will I will look for that. Is, is it in the Kindle store right now? Oh yeah, yeah. In fact, um, it's in Kindle. It's in uh, audio. In fact, hang on, my um. 
my did they have a print print on demand version like the, yeah 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 the, my like it's a... it's in fact the audible audible version just came out i had to, like i love publishers she called okay, me up cool. and she goes she goes the print version just came out now you got to record it you gotta you gotta you gotta narrate it it's like that's fantastic because i was really wanted to do that that's um, not easy to do i know i know authors that have done their own audiobooks it's it's many many hours it uh, it I, takes some I, time I, you're absolutely right it's it's not it's not super fun and this one i just kind of did like a big run through and i said look if there's any little hiccups you're gonna have to fix them on your own um yeah, yeah. the uh but yeah it's unfortunately i gotta push off in a minute because i i, I just realized i've got to go into my my uh my, my i've got I've, I've got a bit of prep work in it. oh no no ha, go go short, but, but thank you very much mark I, i'm gonna I, I, let me i'll explain to you what i'm doing yeah so i'm working on the story uh, i'm getting close to uh, probably close to where I, I write it after i've written it so i'm gonna i'm gonna uh take the stuff from our conversation integrate it um, after the, the editors will edit it, after they've finished editing it, uh, um, we, we have a fact-checking phase where someone will basically, a checker with Wired, emails back, talks to everyone that I interviewed and quoted just to make sure that I got it right, oh, make okay. sure I didn't mishear or misunderstand something. Sure. So if there's if there's something where it's like I, I didn't get it right, you can we'll have a chance to fix it before it gets Oh, yeah. But, uh, um, you know what? So, I, but – I, I when it comes, okay. I've done I've done so many of these. I trust I trust the media pretty much. It's like, look, you're gonna do what you're gonna do, and I I don't fight anybody. It's like, however you want to you want to. Well, no, no, it, 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 it's not even about fighting. It's literally like like even like I I I can honestly I can while attempting in all good faith to represent what someone's saying can just literally mishear and misunderstand. Something. Oh, you know, so I got we, it. We, we want to get rid of it. So at least those mistakes, right? Got it. Got it. Um, got it. So um. Uh, but but it may also be when I'm writing it, I realize oh I've got a follow up question. I might just pop an email because sometimes it's really fast just to do an email. Oh yeah yeah yeah, that, yeah sure that's fine. Uh, but, uh, but but thank you for getting back to me very quickly. Yeah, I really do appreciate it. No no ha uh, happy to do I, it. I was, I was thinking we talk early next week, but this, this worked this worked at lightning speed. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna push off now. Okay. Uh, but uh, but I'll uh, I'll be back in touch via email. If you don't hear me from email, you hear from the checker, and I'll, I'll also when I when I know the story's scheduled, like which issue it's gonna be in, yeah. I'll also let you know in advance. You can be looking for it. Okay. Sound good. Sounds great. Okay. Thanks again, Mark. <laughs> I, sorry to cut things short. Oh no no, you have a good one. Bye. Yeah. All right, see ya.